Hey guys, welcome to my video here with Sir Model Performance. My name is Ivan. I have a 2005 Hyundai Elantra 2.0 liter. Um, it's a GT, uh, so it's got the five speed. The issue with this car, as you can see, I already got the valve cover off, exhaust headers off, intake manifold off is the head gasket. So my issue here was that we would like, for instance, I would put TDC or a number two piston at TDC, put compression into it, it would bleed up over into piston numero uno. So I knew it was head gasket failure due to it not starting to begin with. It was overheated repeatedly, so definitely head warpage. Uh, there wasn't any coolant um, in the oil, so there wasn't any of that mocha milky substance in the oil. So. I'm praying that those water jackets weren't harmed in the making, right? Um, so what I got going on here is I dismantled everything, took off the headers, took off the manifold off to the side, I took off the power steering pump, did away with all the electrical like spark plug wires, all that stuff, that bracket that's mounted on that back side of the engine, pushed that off as well as the um, the cooling system like thermostat housing thermostat all those hose lines in the back push those back there's uh two bolts to the headers down there those have to be removed in order for you to get the header out two bolts on the back of the manifold that stream down towards the bottom of the block those two bolts i took off so i was able to push that manifold back um what else did i do let's see let's see Let's see, I took out the oil dipstick, uh, intake uh, was taken off, the clips were a pain in the butt, so you definitely need a, a little pick like this, because this thing has clips like if it's a Volkswagen, you know, with, with these kind of retainer clips, yeah, much, much fun. Uh, before I took off the head, obviously top dead center, highly required. Number one piston, TDC, mark it, mark everything. If you don't know what you're doing, definitely hire a mechanic. This isn't an easy job for just an ordinary guy. But if you are an ordinary guy with common sense, basic knowledge of tools, I feel like you can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm just an average guy that just likes to work on his cars. So let's continue doing this. Okay, I definitely, definitely scratched that number one piston, should be fine. Give me one second, let me give you a better view of that head, one second. How about this, let me continue with this video with the portion with the block. Uh, old gasket's still there, like I mentioned, I, I just scratched that piston, should be fine, nothing bad's gonna happen. I'm not pumping 600 horsepower out of this thing anyways. It, maybe has 90 if it's lucky but this is definitely the original head gasket just i'm looking for details of heat damage So definitely a multi-layer steel gasket. So whatever the factory may be, definitely try to get the same for, for the vehicle. Unless you want to go all out with like thinner copper gaskets, but no need. <sighs> So this is the gasket all intact. 
I mean, there's definitely separation. Obviously, me tearing it apart, but there's... I mean, I've took off heads off of a Chevy, an LS, same design gasket. They don't separate this bad, so... Definitely oil. And it started seeping through. So I'm pretty sure there was a lot of white smoke being pumped out of the back of this car and they said, you know what, no thank you. And they got rid of it. I'll keep inspecting. Let me get you to the head here next, okay? Okay, guys. So this is the head. This would be the exhaust side. Let's see if I can give you a good shot here. Uh, back of the engine, front of the engine. Uh, you know, piston one. Valves look good. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad they look the way they're supposed to. You know, like that. And uh, intake side, gasket. I mean, what I'm gonna have to do with this is definitely uh, resurface this head, have it resurfaced. I mean, tenths of an inch, like, I mean, very, very little. That way it's, it's smooth again or whatever they decide to do so they can deck it. That way it, it will hold compression. Um, it looks good. I just need to put a, a straight on here and then uh, with a filler gauge uh, feel if there's if it's within spec if it's within spec I can continue using this same head and just change the gasket and I should be fine if it's within spec. So I will do that. It's, it's a pain to do so. I mean it's just tedious little work here and there to do that. Um, you pretty much measure just the insides, um, but I would still get it decked. I, I will, I mean, that's what I'm gonna do anyways. Get the new gasket on there, torque it down, call it good. This thing's making a mess, so please like and subscribe to the video. Hopefully you guys liked it. I wanted to take you guys through the whole thing. I did make a video, was making it. It's like two hours long and it was just interrupting, cutting, and I don't know how to edit videos, guys. Uh, I try to keep them short, sweet, simple. That way you guys can watch it and be like, okay, I can do that. Um, yeah, so, you know, remove the headers, disconnect it, drop, take out the headers, just move the manifold, intake manifold back. Common sense stuff. You need, you'll see bolts and you'll be like, okay, I need to take those out. To do the top dead center, yes, take off the passenger side wheel. Gain access to that, you know, a crank. Uh, it has an opening for the crank, actually. You just put put your uh, tool on there, your socket, you'll turn it. You know, disconnect your battery. That's like the first, you know, rule of thumb. You, got, you guys know what you're doing. You guys are smart. You guys are more than capable. I, like I said, if I can do this, guys, you guys can definitely do it. I'm doing it in my mom's garage you know because i have no freaking space at my house because of project sir malo i know a lot of you guys follow me because of project sir malo which is my 04 silverado um that's that's a truck that's oh my gosh it's been a pain i've been a pain it's one thing or another or just because i don't have time work i mean it's it's been it's been hectic a little bit for me uh want to just knock out these cars customer cars trying to get paid i want to put videos up show you guys but sometimes i just have to do them real fast have to get them done uh but you know this was the customer's car not not anymore my car so you know i'm taking this day to to get updated with you guys i'm glad that i have more than 100 subscribers now i have i think 103 to be exact right now and i thank you guys you guys follow me you guys are supporting me i appreciate it you know 100 subscribers for me is like 
like those guys that have a million subscribers and like a million views. I'm happy with that. I truly am. I, I try to be down to earth as possible. You know, I, I try to keep a, you know, a straight head. You know what I mean? Just do nothing but good in life and, and share my knowledge, whatever I can. I'm sorry if I don't come back. I'm sorry if I don't know the part number, guys. Like, I, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do none of that stuff. Sorry. I, I just, you know, go to AutoZone, Napa, whatever your part store is. Get the part for your vehicle and, you know, do the dirt. You know, get your tools. Get ready. Let's Let's knock this stuff out. And uh, thank you for supporting me, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for my subscribers supporting me. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. I'd appreciate it a whole lot. And, you know, like the videos or hate them, but definitely subscribe. I, I would like your guys' subscriptions even more. Maybe get to 200 pretty soon. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. I'm going to keep working on this. And I should make another video once it's done. And then... Maybe do some burnouts on these little ugly little wheels. All right. Peace out, guys. Take care.